Car Insurance Explained This video is designed to help you understand car insurance. So, which is the cheapest car insurance company? Will Geico really save you 15% or more in 15 minutes? Is Progressive cheaper? Nationwide? Allstate? The number one mistake made by car insurance seekers, is approaching only the companies that are most heavily advertised. The first insurance company that comes to mind, is not necessarily the one that will offer you the best rate. The single most critical factor in getting a cheaper car insurance rate, is shopping around for as many quotes as you can. Only by obtaining several quotes, will you be really able to discover the cheapest rate, that is available to you. Now, usually shopping around for quotes can be a tedious and time-consuming task. So, here's a little trick we use, to weed out the more expensive insurers, and discover exactly which the cheapest auto insurance provider is. To discover the cheapest car insurance rate that is available to us, we use this free service, toll-free, at 1-855-981-7528. This is a free by phone service that specializes in locating the cheapest car insurance rates. They perform the tedious task of shopping around and present you with the cheapest auto insurance provider for your location. Find full details in the description below this video. Now, here are some tips, to help you further lower your car insurance rate. Understanding your options for available types of insurance coverage, is important when you are purchasing a new car or shopping around for insurance. Some coverages protect you, your passengers, and your vehicle, while others protect you, if you cause injuries or damages to another party. The six most common types of coverage you can purchase are, collision, comprehensive, liability, uninsured slash underinsured motorist, medical payments, personal injury protection. Some of these coverage types are mandatory, while others are optional. Familiarize yourself with your state's insurance regulations so you can narrow down your options when insurance shopping. Collision coverage. Collision coverage will cover damage to your vehicle while driving. If you hit another vehicle or a stationary object, collision coverage will cover the repairs to your vehicle. For example, if you need your windshield repaired because your vehicle flipped over, collision coverage will apply. However, collision will not cover anything related to the other property damage you caused. Collision is not necessarily a state-mandated coverage, but your financing company might require it, if you have an outstanding car loan. Comprehensive coverage. Many people purchase comprehensive and collision coverage together but they are distinctly different. For one, comprehensive doesn't cover accident-related damage to your vehicle. Comprehensive covers damage from causes such as natural disasters including hail, earthquakes, fires, and floods, among others. If your vehicle is stolen or vandalized or is damaged, by contact with animals, comprehensive will cover the damage. Liability coverage. Liability insurance protects you from any accidents that are your fault. If someone else needs medical attention or has property damage, your liability coverage will cover their damages. Liability coverage is required in most states. Liability coverage has three main aspects, and each has a different policy limit, the maximum coverage amount that any one person can receive in an accident, the total amount of coverage for all injured parties in an accident, the maximum amount of coverage for any property damage in an accident you cause. To better understand the breakdown of limits, use the example of 15, 30. 5. What that means, is that $15,000 is the maximum for only one injured person, $30,000 for all injured parties, and $5,000 for property damage. Uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage. Uninsured motorist, and underinsured motorist coverage, is usually sold together as a bundle. Uninsured motorist will cover your injuries if an uninsured motorist hits you. Underinsured motorist will provide additional coverage if the at-fault party didn't have high enough policy limits, to fully compensate you for your damages. Medical Payments Medical payments coverage is similar to personal injury protection, but is much more limited in its coverage scope. MedPay will cover medical expenses for you, your passengers, household members, and any other policyholders. It can serve as a supplement, for those who have health insurance, that covers accident-related expenses. For those who do not have health insurance, it's a good substitute. MedPay can also cover your deductibles and co-pays for other polices you have, such as your health insurance. Personal Injury Protection Personal injury protection is often referred to as no-fault insurance. PIP is mandatory coverage in states with no-fault accident laws. PIP will cover your injuries and expenses, in the event of an accident, regardless of who is at fault. Coverage will extend to other drivers you list on your policy, household members, and other passengers. 
PIP coverage is more expansive than med pay, and may cover loss of earnings, child care, funeral expenses, and more. Thanks for watching. Now don't forget to check out the description below this video, for the details of the free service, that will help you find the cheapest auto insurance, that's available for you.